lot of work is happening when I am doing this. Okay? Physical development. Alright? <coughs> voice, when we are doing voice, you realize how much we work on voice. Okay? There is alertness because you are matching your lip with this. Right? What else is happening? For the child, you think how much of development is happening. So that's why puppetry is taken very seriously in education now. It used to be earlier, but now it's taken very seriously because a lot of overall holistic development is happening. Okay? Now we spoke about entry and exit. The next is the height. Now what is the height? Height is how much height you want to give the puppet. As simple as that. Now remember, you are not alone on stage when you are doing a puppet show before your kids, right? So you have to determine that who is of what height depending on the character. So how high you take your hand, how low you take your hand, how much of the body you are exposed, half the body, the torso, the, the, the knee like that, you have to decide according to the height of your mouth. Okay? And this will depend also on the stage height. <coughs> Whatever stage you are having in your school, that is also important for that. The next we are going to talk about eye contact. Say, give me an example. One big sentence book. Something. Something more complicated. A little longer line. Come on, think of something. Is it smart to be good or good to be smart? Okay. So, is it smart to be good or good to be smart? Now what happened? I looked at you. Is it smart to be good or good to be smart? Now what happens when I look at the puppet? You see how you feel. Just tell me how your feelings are. Is it smart to be good or good to be smart? You just like that. Like the minute I look at you, attention comes to me. That should not happen. Because who is the hero here? Okay. The hero, the hero in the villain, everything. The protagonist, the antagonist, everything the puppet is. And remember your body behavior will change everything. Now my puppet is talking, look up. Uh, today the attendance is very low, right? <coughs> right, Pinky? Yes, you see what I did now. From here, I got here. Very subtle, didn't even realize. When I move it away from my body, it becomes that this puppet exists, I am a no one. That's why I actually should wear full black. Right? I have to wear a kutta, so otherwise we wear full black. Okay? Completely they are covered with black. What happens when I do this and I look at my puppet, everybody's attention falls on the puppet. Now this is a very small one. When I open a big puppet, you can say, what a big puppet for you today. Okay? What will happen? You will realize the magic. Okay? Then the minute I want to converse with the puppet, that means the puppet is giving me permission to come and converse with him or her. So the puppet changes the stance. If the puppet takes a back seat, then I take the lead. So it goes like this. Or I move my body. Just one minute. Or I move my body. But this looks very awkward, so I move only the puppet. No, that is ventriculism. What you're saying, where the pup, where the puppet, I, mean, I can't do it. Puppet can't, where the puppet can't talk, but then your voice becomes very clear. Ventriculism is a different kind of an art. Puppetry is not a puppetry. You can speak, yet make it believable. That's the reason why you have to look at it. Do fall down looking at a puppet. Audience believes. And second thing what happens, you can see when it is giving eye contact. So you can see what it is doing. The minute it is static, you will be static. Okay. So it will speak something. Okay? So this is what is eye contact. Now what is lip synchronization? So what we are going to do is we are going to do simple things with our hands today. Okay? We clap and say things. Okay? Now you all have names which have one, two, three, four, five syllables also. Right? So we clap and say our names to understand this concept. Like, how do we do that? Now, whenever I open my mouth, my chin drops. Right? So you keep your hand under your chin and you say, anything, anything. What happened? How many times the chin moved? Three times. So 
in this way you should know how many times you chain moves with your nail have you gauged that have you gauged that yes just keep it in your mind now are you ready to do it now with me are you ready you can say your surname what you want all right so how i'm doing it see i'm saying rain tea saying book now see how i did it rain tea saying book now three and two two and three So how did it? Go try. Yes. Try. Then only you will do syllable talk. You'll understand syllable talk. Let me start from here. I'll help you. I'm there. Clap and do it.
easier way to practice. And if you're feeling your hand is getting tired, there's an exercise. Of, do this. Always loosen it this way and loosen that way. You're not using it because they are balanced. Okay? You can do different shoulder, different face. It won't keep them static because your hand will start getting numb. So keep doing it for a very long time. Massage your hands. We need to take a lot of care for our muscles when we're doing puppetry. Okay? The next part is believable movements and I, I think we have been talking a lot about that. Believable movements happen when you look at them. Don't open the whole mouth. Don't open like this. Just open this. This be more gentle. Can you come here? Projection is what? Growing my voice and you hearing it back. 
if there is no power in your voice nothing is going to work your voice is your what you know a card what is a card it is a winning card trump card for success okay so what is the important thing here thing is volume that is when she can shout articulation articulation is how i talk how i talk how i talk okay big an accent or i say how i talk although my may mouth may not look so nice to look at i may not be using an accent but everybody can understand what i'm saying because i'm articulating when i'm chewing my words see how the speech change when i i'm chewing my words you see that how i am articulating my tongue is moving in different places to do this what we do we put a false voice we put a false pretense and we don't realize our own voice so what is our own voice all those who have maybe been with me earlier they if they know i have done exercise with them so where you hold your ears here can you hold your ears no like an elephant here open your hand don't keep it closed and keep it behind your ear like this wait like this okay and now bring it closer it's not not closer it's closer and say anything you want that is your real voice
not the whole tongue, just the tip a little bit more. Then there is what is key? F. What is F? F. Are you sure? Yes. No, it's not. What is the sound of F? F. No. F. F. No. F. 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 There is no, no for in F. Do we say for and or we say fan? There is no sound of F. This position, no. Teeth, front teeth on your lower lip. That's it. There's no sound. It's fan. There's no sound of it. So what do we combine with or when we are saying it? So there is no sound of it. You just be careful when you are teaching your children. It's not for... If, there, if, if you have a, a class and you are doing this, you are teaching the wrong thing from day one. It's what is H? Her. Are you sure again? Her. H is not even that. When you are tired, what do you do? Fly. That's it. Horse. <coughs> See your phonics. This is this is articulation. You should know. Hot. So there is no hot. It's heat. That's it. Okay. G you know go. H I is. Very short. J is J. 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 You know what is L now? It's this thing. What exactly that? So do it and show me. What's the sound? They have the sound. No. Your tongue is not in the teeth. Look at my mouth. Is behind. Lion. Right. I'm not saying law. Lollipop. Lottery. 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 See how many marks. See if I say if I say lottery, like people say lottery lag gay. Style mark. But if I say lottery lag gay, see how much rich it is sounding. You saw how they were doing. And my expressions are automatically working. Because I am articulating. M is <coughs> But I am 
modulating my voice again and again. How am I doing that? I'm stressing on something called as vowels. And now you will realize when I'm talking to you, you did not realize till now that I am stressing on my vowels. Did you see that? Yeah. I did not hurt my voice. Somebody was saying their throat was burning. Who said that? She must be not there. See that this will not happen in your, in your school, during your internship, during your job. If you just stress on your vowels, you will not have to raise your voice. Because I am only stressing on my vowels and I am being heard. I was talking about you only. That you stress on the vowels to be heard. So now you can realize how I am talking. But when I am normally talking, do you may understand what am I doing? I am not deliberately told you what I am doing. You were able to understand. Same works in puppets also. Same works in real life also. So see, I am doing also. See how I am doing. I am just suddenly you realize I am doing how I am doing. Okay, and the same thing will happen. Vowels. A E I O U. That's it. We are going to do an exercise. Where we are going to do a vowel exercise before we continue with the next part. For that, I want you all to stand up because you can't do it sitting. You will not be able to do it sitting. Okay. Now the first and foremost thing, kindly stand. Last bench, or I will go reverse and I will do it. <laughs> so, what we are going to do is we are going to first understand how we breathe, especially with our stomach. And you all know that we keep our hands here to understand that are we breathing from the stomach. So when we breathe in, our shoulders go back, and our rib cage enlarges to accommodate the stomach with air. Remember this. You will realize it's going back. Don't. Press on your chest at all. Just start slow and ensure your shoulders are lifted behind. When you are dropping your your, your breath, नहीं अपना posture मत लो आपसे shoulders पाव. इसे shoulders के पीछे करिए shoulders पाव. That do that much and you realize how air is going inside your stomach. What we do? We speak without breathing and then हमारा last word audience को सुनाई नहीं देता. कभी कभी होता है last word छूट जाता है. That is important that we should consciously breathe. So you breathe. So now we breathe in and we breathe out counting 20. In my pace, you will not breathe in in between. If you cannot, we just stop and you sit up. You are getting it? See, I will give an example. For example, I breathe in. I am not doing any breathing in between, only one breathe in. As I'm exhaling, I'm counting now: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what I did? So I'm not that easy. What did what I did? We are going to do this first to understand our breath. How much? How much power our breath has? So be comfortable. Take a good breath. Okay, and yawning is good. You know that. What happens? I'm mean, I'm being very serious. What happens when you when you yawn? When you when you when you yawn, your Voice, there's a, there's a sound box just like this, which is rubbing like this when you're talking. It opens up and it relaxes you. So it's a good thing. Don't feel shy when you're yawning. Everybody should yawn together. Okay, chal. Now we will breathe in. You will count just you exhale. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. Don't hold your breath. Twenty. If you breathe out, twenty-one, twenty-two. I'm still breathing. Very easy. I'm going out. Twenty-four. See what? What you all did? You held your breath. Yeah. Don't hold your breath. Now you count with me. Then you start releasing your breath. Start up. <laughs> you understand what we did? When you are counting, you are already there. But no taking breath from your mouth. Huh? Don't do that. See, we are not doing any competition here. We are understanding our capacity and then we are going to raise this capacity today. 2, 15. We will do that. Not today, it will not happen. Take time, but there will be tips to do that. So let's do this. Breathe in. Take your time, okay? 
hold one two say three four say five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve
Now, going to the next one is we already spoke about topic entry, walk and exit. Exit also we spoke. The first impression is always dependent on the entry of the puppet. For example, if a puppet is a wearing puppet. Remember, my puppet doesn't stay in one place, but it can walk because I am also walking. Okay, it doesn't have legs because it was there, hey? but it is walking. It is doing things because I am making it walk. But the puppet position is ahead, not with me. So it becomes very believable that it is walking. Okay, even though it is with me, still there is a belief that it is with me. But now it cannot walk. Remember, it is with me. So there are a lot of rules you follow in puppetry. Only when the puppet is ahead of you. It can do this. So just the hand is instead of holding, it will do. This. But when it comes with me, we only have a conversation. Okay? And the position of the puppet here when handling the puppet, which I just told you, will again depend on the type of the stage. Like I'm not doing it with the audience, I'm different. I'm under the table, I'm different. Everywhere it will change. Okay? Now before we go to the script, before we go to the script. Uh, I want to ask you all: Have you ever written a script? Have you ever written a script? Written, right? So let's take a simple story which everybody knows. Which we'll story? Go. Thirsty crow. Thirsty crow. Sure. Okay. How will you begin the script? Come on, tell me. Sunny day.
you will have to make the puppet script very very interactive you can't have it like you know ek ne bola dusre ne dekha clear then you know what the meaning of takia kalam
connect to them a lot and can heal from them. I'll give you a real example of this. What I've seen throughout my years is I've seen uh, there was there was some puppets dying in my house, yeah. and we had a child who had come, a friend's son who had come, and my son was also there with him. And after some time, I could hear some sounds of some animals or something. They were making they were doing some uh, make believe game. Okay. So what I saw is they had puppets in their hand, and they were hitting each other, making those animal sounds, were hitting for mar rahe And I realized the one who was hitting was the boy and who was getting beaten was the dad. Okay? And uh, the dialogues which were coming out so hilarious, listen. Why don't you come home? Why are you not coming for the last six months? My mom misses you. How? And because my husband is uh, in the Indian Navy, he's not there. See the frustration of the child coming out who is not telling me he is just 6 years old. And both the boys doing that because the both the boys are not seeing their father for 6 months. So therapeutic. Which I couldn't understand because someday I had my child. I never realized that he is so upset. That day I understood he is so upset. And I was so glad because he released here. It is good to be upset so long as you release your stress. If you don't release, you will have physical ailments. And I was so happy and that is the day I picked up puppetry and today I am here. It opened my eyes, then I worked with some special children and I saw another world to it. I worked with 22 special children for one year and my eyes were really open and I saw this works in therapy. Physically I saw, practically I used it and I saw how much it works. So basically puppetry is used in education and therapy and in learning. Okay, before I uh, do this, and we have a lot of practical work to do, so we will do that now. I will show you a big size puppet now. Okay, a big size puppet. <coughs> Anybody who has been to my channel has seen this puppet. Uh, but they have seen another version to it. Anybody who has been to my channel?
see how the character completely changes with the same puppet. Understand what is Akkar if anybody can remember 
what we had done last time. One girl had volunteered to sing also, I remember. Yeah, yeah, thank you for that, thank you. So see now here, there is a there is a rag which is called dais. Okay, there is a dais rag. Okay, it's a kind of a rag which is used in movies. A lot of movies. All the songs which are the most popular songs are mostly in, in this rag, you'll find. Okay, now this rag has a, and it has songs. Okay, now before a song starts, what happens is, people have to form a base so that they can sing. Okay? So what is done in these, these places? We take a, uh, we take a rag pattern and then we come back to the song. Okay? So there are two ways of doing it. One is you do akar, that is, we do like this.
Other than that, if you have any doubts regarding puppetry, you want to do a puppet show ever, you can always contact me and ask me on WhatsApp. I am always ready to answer you if you have ever have to do a puppet performance. Okay? Yeah. So you own your puppet. If you have not, you use your hand. And remember one thing: we will not move this too much except the right and the left. Right hand and he move the this this. See, this ko hilana. Remember that. Dekho, ye mera head hai. Ye mera pair hai. To main aise to nahi ho sakti na. Ho sakti ho? To gir jaoge. I can move like this. So ye bhi aise move karega. See how puppet moves. Okay, now this is what I'm going to do. Are we ready? Yes. On the count of one, two, three. <coughs> can we sing? Yes. yes. Two, three, start. So put your right hand in and put your right hand out. Put your right hand in and shake. Are you singing it? Just dance. Don't sing. Just dance. Then we we'll sing again. You put your right hand in and put your right hand out. Put your right hand in and shake it all about and do the boogie boogie and turn it all you have done. And that's what's all about. Now we will talk. सब साथ में करेंगे तो खिचड़ी पक जाएगी ओके दोहरा तो रखो यहाँ पे कोई बात नहीं एडवाइस इज मत रखो बट अभी रखो प्रॉब्लम मत रखो ऑडियंस की तरफ ऐसे मत रखो आई नो दिस कॉम्फर्टेबल बट ये मत रखो गलत ओके नाउ विल डू लेफ्ट सो यू मूव यू मूव योर लेग नाउ बिकॉज परफेक्ट कार्ड वॉक यू विल मेक इट वॉक अपने बॉडी से आगे होगा परफेक्ट कर रहा है सब कुछ सो योर लेफ्ट लेग इन नेक टू व्हाट इज गाना गाओ ना यार एंड गाना गाओ वन वन टू थ्री स्टार्ट सो योर लेफ्ट लेग इन योर लेफ्ट लेग आउट योर लेफ्ट लेग इन एंड शेक इट ऑल अबाउट एंड डू द बूगी बूगी एंड टर्न योर सेल्फ अराउंड एंड दैट्स व्हाट सो ऐसे नहीं कर सकता 